The sweet, soothing rain will lull you to sleep in this cozy bedtime story for grown-ups. This week's sleep story is sponsored by Aura, an all-in-one app for mindfulness, well-being, and sleep. It's also another place that you can listen to content from me, Michelle, at Michelle Sanctuary. Like most of you, YouTube is where I got my start listening to meditations and sleep stories and eventually creating them. But I know there are some snags that happen, like being interrupted by ads and not being able to personalize your experience. But with Aura, you can add sound effects and music, and there are AI-generated tools to help personalize your homepage and give you recommendations. It's a much more customizable experience, but it'll also give you access to the same content you enjoy, as well as the world's largest library of content created by storytellers and meditation teachers and healers. It also gives access to one-on-one coaching, if that's something you might be interested in. And for the first 500 of you to download the Aura app using the link below, you will get a free trial and 25% off a subscription. I'd like to thank Aura for sponsoring this video and helping people fall asleep around the world. I hope you give it a try. You are listening to Stormy Night at the Bell Tower. A guided rainy sleep story set in a charming mountainside village. In the Victorian era, the bell tower was a keeper of time. Its dulcet tones reverberated through the valley in times of gathering and celebration. But one day, the bell stopped ringing, and without rhyme or reason, the tower became neglected for decades. But one day, A creative soul salvaged the abandoned tower, renovating it into a -a one-of-a-kind apartment with breathtaking views of the mountains, lake, and charming stone cottages and historic farmhouses in the village. Escape to this idyllic community as a storm arrives to enjoy a cozy, memorable night in the bell tower. It's time to dream away. Welcome to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, a guide who will usher you away to another world that prioritizes tranquility, bliss, and sleep. Think of my voice as that of a supportive ally who wants nothing more than for you to feel good and honor this time at the end of the day for rest. At any given moment, you are one thought and breath away from feeling better and enhancing your present experience. So settle and get as comfortable as you can in the sanctuary of your room. Let this be the place where anything is possible. The place where dreams are fostered and you feel restored to the depths of your being. Trust yourself along this journey as you recognize my words are only a framework. Your imagination may take this experience as far as you would like it to go. Embrace the freedom to craft each visual and sensation to your preferences. And feel free to fall asleep at any time if slumber becomes too hard to resist. If you need to stretch or wiggle or move about to get comfy, Allow yourself to do whatever you need to and then find stillness as we go through a brief guided meditation to help set the tone for the sleep story. Focus on the constant ebb and flow of your breath. Explore the contrast between feeling weightless and expansive 
with each inhalation. And the sense of feeling grounded and heavy with each exhalation. You may choose to focus more on the sensation that appeals to you most right now. Empty out all the air in your lungs in a dramatic sigh. Go ahead. Use this breath to throw away anything left over from the day that you no longer wish to be concerned with. By letting go, you make space for your creative mind to imagine crisp mountain air permeating your room. Inhale through your nose to savor the cleansing scents of pine trees and wildflowers. Warmed through your nasal passages, this perfectly prepared air arrives in your lungs and your body expands as much as it can, not pushing too hard, simply listening and responding to what feels right. Now exhale slowly through your mouth in another sigh of release. As you breathe out, imagine a gentle breeze sweeping fallen leaves through the village. Notice how they surrender to the wind, letting it carry them to new adventures. Inhale again through your nose, allowing the clean mountain air to cleanse and revitalize you. As you exhale, consider letting out a soft yawn if it comes naturally. Use this time to send every signal to your body that you are ready to stand down and feel good and then end with another sigh. With this last breath, embrace coziness, visualizing a gentle rain shower rolling in from the mountains. The soft winds carry the smell of the wet earth. After the rain falls, that beautiful petrichor that lingers in the air. And then feel free to yawn and sigh, taking in the wonderful feeling of being cozy in your bed, no matter the weather, no matter what happens in the outside world. In this more relaxed state of being, it's time for the story to begin. As the modern world moves ahead at an alarming speed, there are souls insistent on preserving the charming relics of the past. They honor the craftsmanship of artisans, preserving old wooden beams and restoring glass antiques. They yearn to connect with the past tuning into the whispers of stone walls and clues into the storied past of old buildings and once beloved articles. This is how the abandoned bell tower came to be upscaled into a dreamy living space with unique details not to be found anywhere else in the world. In a charming mountainside village, the past reveals itself in the seasonal traditions and strong sense of community that is felt everywhere. Picket fences dripping in ivy line the quaint streets, wrapping around stone cottages and Cape Cod-style homes with gabled roofs. Not a house in the village is without a chimney or two, or even four. 
creating smoke trails the moment the nip of October paints the valley in autumnal hues. Rolling fields of golden corn stalks surround the outskirts of the village to the west. They lead to colorful woodlands that showcase clusters of mustard yellow, burgundy, chestnut, and eggplant-hued leaves. During the month of October, the neighboring farm offers hay rides on a dirt path through the woods. The mountains provide a feeling of protection to the village. While offering the most beautiful sunrises and sunsets over the oft snow-capped peaks. The east side of town borders a lake where some locals still dare to swim on balmy days until Halloween's arrival. It's a testament to the hardiness of the townspeople as well as their joyous insistence to make the most out of natural surroundings as much as possible. For nearly 150 years, the bell tower sounded every hour between dawn and dusk to notify villagers of the time, which was especially helpful during the harvest season as most of them were working outdoors or canning and preparing for the winter season. The bell would also be struck in times of celebration and for everyone to gather in communion. But over time, the townspeople found the sound to be a nuisance they learn to rely on their own clocks and personal devices. It just so happened, one day the keeper of the bell tower took off following the chance for love in a big city. The silence that ensued in the following days was a welcome reprieve to many people in the town. And without meaning to, the tower was left to decay, becoming a beautiful abandoned shell. Until one day, the son of a local farmer aspired to resurrect the historic buildings in disrepair. The bell tower stories higher than the tallest Victorian home in the village offered the best views of the valley. Its structure was sound and he had the vision to create a cherished haven that would honor the history of the region as well as encourage people from near and far to visit this beloved town and stay in the tower dwelling. It took a decade for his vision to come to life. And not long after, you first visited the bell tower, feeling instantly at home in the picturesque community and the breathtaking space. You take on a natural routine when in town, committing to a leisurely stroll around the lake daily. Sunsets are a favorite time here as the lake reflects the golden light and transforming sky. You amble around the edge of the lake as twigs and crisp bronze leaves snap and crunch beneath your feet. 
the lake gently laps against the pebbled shore that glistens in the exquisite golden hour hues. These walks are often unhurried, left to exploration and unexpected encounters with nature. A black squirrel charges up a tree, his cheeks overstuffed with foraged acorns. You bathe in the rich light, reveling in its dreamy glow and the lingering warmth of summer that rises from the lake. The breeze hints at a turn in the weather, an undercurrent of a chilly snap that is subtle at the moment, but will only intensify as the night wears on. The gentle wind carries with it the unmistakable scent of fallen leaves, a delightful mix of burnt sugar, nutmeg, and wet earth that awakens a sense of nostalgia and memories of the fall season. The sensations of autumn enchant you. From the touch of free falling leaves that brush across your shoulders before landing on the earth, to the breeze off the lake, the peppery smell of wood smoke, and the constant give and take of coolness and warmth. The season of autumn offers a rhythm that is easy to match on an aimless stroll. Near the lake's surface, the occasional fish breaches the water. Some create a soft splash while others make an ungraceful plop. With each leap in the air, the scales of the fish reflect the final mesmerizing rays of daylight. Dragonflies languidly dart across the gilded water, far less focused and precise than the dragonflies were in June. Every being senses the slow, winding down a fall, cherishing the impermanence of balmy days. You lose yourself watching the hypnotic ripples and movements of the dragonflies and fish. You realize you're not the only soul enjoying the sacred time of day as the cheerful conversation of a young girl carries across the lake. Her grandfather guides a navy blue rowboat out of an inlet, indulging her in what has become a routine after-school activity over the past couple years. He nods a hello and she waves to you before carrying on about her day as her grandfather demurely smiles. The fading light creates a golden aura around them, enhancing the rugged lines on his face and hands that could tell many stories. The young girl looks angelic as the light forms a halo around her. They, like you, notice the storm clouds coming in over the mountains. The purple-black bellied formations 
appear all the more ominous, contrasting the tangerine sun along the horizon and bursts of lavender, periwinkle, raspberry pink, and mango that streak across the sky. The clouds signal it's time to head back to the village. And so you make your way to the general store to stock up on a few things, unsure if they are in your rental. Leaves scatter and spiral around you, carelessly falling on the curving street and sidewalk. You arrive at the village general store to gather a few extra candles in anticipation of a power outage. You are amused to find the only candles left in the store are seasonal pillars in the shape of corn cobs. The shopkeeper notices you taking a gander and shares that the news warns that there could be power outages. But she confidently declares that everyone is well prepared. And given the kindred spirits in the town, she boasts of how everyone comes together when they must, especially in times like these. You select a favorite treat to enjoy back at the bell tower, making this chance storm into a welcome adventure. She arranges your items in a small paper bag, throwing in a pack of wooden matches with the store's logo on the front. Just in case, she utters with a smile. Leaving the store, you note the clouds are rolling in slowly. You feel content that you need not rush and take the long way back to the heart of the village. The peak of the bell tower remains visible no matter where you wander. On this visit, a few days of leaf-peeping splendor drew you to this easy escape with your kitty, who remains at the tower while you explore. Knowing this may be the last chance to enjoy the leaves before the storm liberates them from the branches, you take your time, enjoying the vibrant colors and pure essence of the season. Cape Cod style cottages are the most popular homes on Maiden Lane. Their pale yellow, ivory and slate gray facades create the perfect neutral palette to showcase the vibrant colors of leaves. Funky gourds and pumpkins of all sizes spill off the front porches and down the stairs to walkways dressed with scarecrows, cornstalks, and pots of mulberry mums and marigolds. Some of the homes offer a bit more spice in their spooky decor. The gabled roofs add character as the first plumes of smoke lazily rise from the chimneys. The breeze carries a hint of rain, a scent that mixes with the homey aroma of wood-burning fires. You pass well-tended lawns 
and close behind picket fences and maintained hedges where children relish these final moments to dive into the mountainous piles of crisp fallen leaves before the storm turns them into a soggy wet carpet. Their sweet chuckles and squeals are muffled as the leaves rain down upon them. They revel in the smells of childhood fun and the earthen perfume of the damp ground and sweet maple leaves. For a moment you envy the joy some of them have in simple tasks like raking up the ever accumulating leaves that fly with urgency on the incoming wind, sparing the tree the weight of their presence during the storm. You continue beneath the jewel-toned canopy as the street lamps come to life and the sky darkens from the clouds and steely blue approach of night. Leaves rustle like soft brush strokes on a cymbal as the faintest rumble of thunder brings relief as you turn onto Blossom Street named after the cherry blossoms of spring. Edging closer to the tower, you think to yourself, perhaps it would be nice to return in April to enjoy the peak blooms as much as you've enjoyed the peak leaf season. A few fat raindrops fall on the sidewalk, managing to miss you as you dip below the awning of the building and enter the private stairwell to the tower. The rest of the church-inspired building has been transformed into a cozy bakery on the first floor offering sumptuous breakfasts and leisurely lunches for the local seniors and remote workers. Former meeting rooms now offer the most romantic dinner spot in town, ascending four stories through the secluded entrance. The rain pelts the windows beside the narrow winding staircase that leads to the bell tower. Beyond the raindrop coated glass, the tides of autumn have taken over a garden, dappling the withering herbs and flowers with patches of gold russet and amber leaves. Your journey upwards is punctuated by the rhythmic splats of raindrops on the windows. Each pat on the glass makes you all the more grateful for this cozy sanctuary and the strength in your legs and lungs as they carry you home. You open a hand-carved mahogany door, outfitted from old church doors to fit the cathedral-style entrance. The soft click of the lock as you turn the key to open the door instigates a yawn. Safe and sound, 
you enter the captivating tower that has been transformed into a two-bedroom apartment. The ceilings are nearly 20 feet high and a century-old crystal chandelier hangs from the restored beam where the bell once shone. Floor-to-ceiling cathedral-stained glass windows adorn an entire wall and depict the sun's majestic rise over the tranquil lake. Flashes of lightning momentarily illuminate the exquisite, colorful design, casting peachy pink, sapphire, kelly green, and purple patterns onto the hardwood floors. The other three walls also feature floor-to-ceiling windows that frame breathtaking views of the lake, the foliage-coated mountains, and the historic homes below. It feels easier to breathe in a home like this, where you revel in the balance of coziness and loftiness. The tower's height and windowed walls of the open concept living room give a sense of being in a treetop nest. Vibrant hand-loomed throw rugs are scattered across the polished hardwood floors, showcasing unique designs and bohemian fringe. You remove your shoes, leaving them on a custom shoe rack by the door, feeling the contrast of cool, shiny hardwood beneath your feet and then the feathery rugs that invite you to sink into their plush warmth. Overhead, exposed wooden beams add rustic charm, and the salvaged antique copper-tiled ceiling boasts intricate patterns that pay homage to the tower's history. In the cozy kitchen, you prepare a fire in the wood stove. Crackles and pops of the burning dry logs join the steady sound of rain. The dancing flames usher in the triumph of adding one more trail of smoke to the sky, joining the rest of the village gathered around their own fireplaces on a stormy night. The wind picks up suddenly, whipping through the valley, speedily shifting the direction of the smoke trails, yet you feel safe and comfortable. Even as the wind whistles, directing a horizontal stream of rain toward the windows. With a wood stove ablaze, you indulge in your special treat from the general store savoring each bite. The chandelier begins to flicker and suddenly the power goes out. But it's of no concern. You reach for an old oil lantern on the kitchen counter and light it, its soft warm glow 
casts a gentle light upon the room. Nearby, you find the corn candles nestled in a paper bag from the general store. One candle is traditional yellow with a silly pat of wax made to resemble melting butter. The other two are slightly more sophisticated, resembling ornamental corn with wax kernels and shades of wine red, plum, purple blue, and scarlet. You can't help but smile, thinking of the villagers who bought out more traditional candles. But these are surely more festive. As you settle into the warmth of the fire and the soft glow of the candles, your cat emerges from her secret hiding spot, meowing and rubbing her warm body against you. She seems extra curious and brave now that the rumbles have subsided to be replaced with a steady patter of rain. You curl up on the plump cushion of a linen sofa and wrap a velvety blanket around you. Your cat leans against you falling back to sleep. As the rain steadily falls on the village, you open a book to read by candlelight. The rain outside becomes a gentle, lulling symphony, inviting you to do nothing but relax. Your mind drifts back and forth from the pages of your book to the hypnotic rhythm of the rain savoring each moment of the most lovely atmosphere. As you engage with the written words before you a delightful weariness takes hold the book in your hands gradually becomes too heavy to hold steady on your lap, and your eyelids, despite your best efforts, softly flutter to a close. It's a contented resignation, and you recognize that has been patiently waiting in the wings. With an easy sigh, you carefully mark your spot with a crocheted bookmark from the general store and close the book. You stoke the fire and blow out the corn candles taking the oil lantern to guide you to bed. Slowly, you ascend the black spiral stairs to the loft bedroom that peers out onto the living area and exposed beams that are now below you. Rain falls on the skylights to offer the perfect sleepy soundtrack. As you prepare for bed, you peer out at the dark blue lake as raindrops race down the windows. The once placid lake is now turbulent 
ripples radiate from each droplet, creating delicate concentric circles that expand and overlap one another. Puddles form on the sidewalks and lawns below, mimicking the unique patterns on the lake. You draw the curtains closed and change into warm, thick pajamas. You wash your face and brush your teeth in the adjoining bathroom decorated with paintings depicting the bell tower in its original carnation. As you return to the bedroom, you notice your cat has claimed her spot at the end of the bed. You climb into it next to her, grateful for the weight of the comforter and comforting smell of the sheets. You close your eyes and imagine the storms this tower has weathered over the centuries. And the loyal souls who sounded the bell and guided the village through each spell and season. You continue to drift between wakefulness and slumber as they overlap like the soothing colors of a watercolor painting. The gentle cadence of the rain serves as a sound that delivers you to sleep, lulling you and guiding you into a deep state of peace and appreciation. Each raindrop offers an encouraging murmur to let go and fall asleep, safe from the storm in the bell tower. Finding grace, finding safety, Finding bliss, finding sleep. It's time to dream away.